Hi guys. In this tutorial I will show you how to make easy effects you can do in After Effects. Animated Saber Outline Effect. First of all let's mask the wheel. For masking you can choose elliptical tool, pen tool or use a mocker AE. Apply mocker to the clip, then click on mocker and let's take an elliptical tool to mask the wheel. Once you have selected the wheel, press on tracking button. Correct some points and track back the mask. Once it has finished tracking, press on save button and close the mocker AE. Now open mat and click on create AE masks. This will create a perfect track mask on the wheel. Now press M on your keyboard and change mask mode to none. Let's apply saber effect to the layer now. Open render settings and change composite settings to add. Now open customize core and change core type to layer masks. Saber is applied to the mask. Now change any preset you will enjoy. I'll stay on default. With a few adjustments this will look cool for me. Play around with her low intensity and size until you will be happy with. Create a keyframe for end offset and change value to zero. Create keyframe for start offset and make sure value is set to 0%. Now go to very end of the clip and set both values to 100%. Press U on your keyboard to see all created keyframes. Move start offset keyframe forward a bit. Go to very beginning of the clip and create new keyframe for mask evolution. Now go to very end of the clip and change value to 1 or 2. If you set value to 1, Saber animation will rotate once if you set it to 2 it will rotate 2 times. Increase end size up to 120. Decrease start size to 0. Set end roundness to 2. That's look cool for me. Play around with glow and also change colors on your wish. Animated car logo reveal. Go to tracker and click on track camera. Once it has finished tracking, select all points on the car. Right click and click on create solid and camera. Cut the created solid layer, match it to the car length. Right click on solid layer and click on pre-compose. Select leave all attributes and rename it to badge. Double click on badge layer and delete solid layer in it. Import there a car logo. In my case it's Porsche badge. Go back to composition and scale the badge layer as much as you want. Then change orientation until you will be happy. Add turbulent displace to badge layer play around the settings or you can copy mine if you like it. Press and hold alt button and click on evolution stopwatch icon. Then type time 250. This will animate turbulent displace. At the very beginning of the layer set a keyframe for amount. Then go a few frames forward and set amount to zero. Now let's move the logo behind the car. Duplicate car layer. Rename. Car only. Move car only layer to the top of the badge layer. Make sure to delete 3D camera from car only layer. Then select roto brush tool and double click on car only layer. Let's make a nice selection of the car. Press freeze button as you finish selecting. Go back to composition, adjust the scale and position of the logo a bit if it's too weird as mine. Let's make a logo reveal. Hide logo behind the car and go to very beginning of the video then press P on your keyboard and create keyframe for position. Then go a few frames forward and move the logo up. Enable motion blur for badge layer. Now select both keyframes and press F9 to smooth motion. Then go to graph editor and make smooth curve. Let's add a rotation to the badge now. As it reveals it will rotate. Open transform on badge layer and create a keyframe for Y rotation. Then go a few frames forward and set rotation to 2. This will make badge rotate twice. Add a glow effect to the layer. And adjust the glow a bit. Now let's add saber effect on it. But first of all we will need to create a mask on a badge. Simply go to layer tab and click on auto trace. Click on OK. Enable masks. And now we have a track masked with the badge. Now you can add a saber effect on it. Open Render Settings, change Composite Settings to Add. Open Customize Core and change Core Type to Layer Masks. 
Now you can change any preset you like and adjust the glow or saber settings. Go near to the end and press P on your keyboard. Create keyframe for position there. Now go to very end of the badge layer and move the badge down behind the car. Now select last two keyframes and go to graph editor and make a nice curve the same you have did for first keyframes. Nice, now let's make a rotation to the badge when it goes back down. Open transform or press U on your keyboard to see all keyframes. Go to moment where badge starts moving down and set their keyframe for Y rotation. Then go to very end of the badge layer and change Y rotation value to zero. Logo reveal is ready. Let's jump to another effect. Car sliding, duplicate the layer, rename it car only. Select the Roto Brush tool and let's make a nice selection of the car. As you finish with selecting press on Freeze button. Go back to Composition and Duplicate Car Only Layer then select the middle one and add Offset Effect to that layer. At the very beginning of the clip set a keyframe for Shift Center. Then go to very end and change position of Offset. You can make car sliding up or down or right or left. I will make it to the right. Add offset as much as you will enjoy the sliding. At the end, make sure to fit the offset with the car perfectly. Now press U on your keyboard and move the last offset keyframe to the very end of the clip. Select both keyframes and press F9 to smooth motion. Now go to Graph Editor and make a smooth curve. Copy mine or play around until it makes you happy. Add CC Force Motion Blur to it and change blurriness to 10. Then we can jump to another effect. Glowing Floor Effect. Go to Tracker and click on Track Camera. Select all of the points that are on a floor. Right click and select Create Solid and Camera. Pre-compose Solid Layer. Select Leave All Attributes and rename it to Floor. Double click on floor layer, select solid layer and add a grid effect to it. Go back to composition, press S on your keyboard and scale a grid. Let's add a saber effect on it. Also you can use glow effect or any effect you will enjoy. To add saber we will need to mask the grid first. The easy way to mask it, go to layer tab and click on auto trace. Click on OK and enable the mask on timeline. As you can see, we now have bunch of masks tracked with the grid. Let's add saber effect to it now and make adjustments on it. Open render settings and change composite settings to transparent. Open customize core and change core type to layer masks. Change any preset to one you will enjoy most. I will choose pulse. Now let's change glowing settings. You can copy mine, but the footage and the grid size can be different. So my settings may not work for you. Play around with values until you will be happy. As you finish with Saber, let's bring it down the car, duplicate the video and move it to the top of the floor layer. Rename it, Car Only. Select Roto Brush 2 and make a nice selection of the car. Once you've finished selecting, click on Freeze button. Now go back to Composition and make changes to Grid if you want. This was easy car effects you can do in After Effects for your next reels or shorts. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.